Hello everyone. Today's video is going to discuss how to start a nonprofit organization from scratch. Let's say you've been thinking about starting a nonprofit. Perhaps you felt a calling to provide a service to the community and you've been doing it for a few years. You have a number of volunteers helping you out and now you've decided that you want to professionalize it and turn these services into an official nonprofit organization. Or you may have an idea and you haven't really started doing it yet, but it's a really great idea and you want to start your nonprofit organization. Either way, this video is going to review the steps you will need to take to start your nonprofit organization. This is Zena from the Nonprofit Support Agency. We simplify the process of starting a nonprofit by providing training courses and services designed to help you create a successful and sustainable nonprofit organization. Now let's get into our training. The steps you will need to start your nonprofit organization. Step one. Your first step is to clearly outline the purpose and goals of your nonprofit. What community problem are you focused on? Or what service will your organization provide? Step two, decide on a unique name for your nonprofit. At the Secretary of State website, where you will file your articles of incorporation, you are also able to check to see if the name you want is available. Prior to doing this, you may also want to use Google to see if the name you selected is available. And do not forget to check to see if there is a website associated with that name. Step three, prepare and file your articles of incorporation at the Secretary of State website. This establishes your organization as a legal entity. In the description below, we have placed the website for each of the steps that are listed. And you will find link, the link to the Secretary of State website where you can file your articles of incorporation. Step four, apply for an employer identification number, which is your EIN number from the IRS. This number is required for banking and tax purposes. You can apply online at the IRS website by completing Form SS4. Step 5. File the Statement of Information, Form SI100, with the Secretary of State Office. On this form, you will list your officers, the President, Secretary, and Treasurer. Step 6 draft the bylaws for your organization. This will outline the governance structure, rules, and policies for your nonprofit. Step 7. Apply for federal tax-exempt status. File Form 1023 or 1023-EASY, which is the application for recognition of exemption under Section 501c3 of the Internal Revenue Code. This step is necessary for receiving tax-deductible donations and grants. Step 8. Apply for state tax-exempt status. File Form 350, Submission of Exempt Request with the Franchise Tax Board in California. Step 9. Register with the state. Register your nonprofit with the California Attorney General's Registry of Charitable Trust. This provides charitable solicitation privileges. Step 10. Form your board. Recruit and appoint a board of directors to provide leadership and guidance for your organization. Here are some additional steps that you will need to complete to finish rounding out the setup of your nonprofit organization. First, open a bank account. You now have a fully established nonprofit corporation 
and you are now able to open a business bank account. Obtain a business license and or seller's permit, which may or may not be necessary depending on your nonprofit. Implement a financial record keeping system and secure an accountant or bookkeeper. Maintain accurate records to ensure compliance with nonprofit regulations. You can start with services like QuickBooks if you cannot afford an accountant or bookkeeper when starting out. Develop programs and activities. Create programs aligned with your nonprofit's mission. These should be designed to achieve your organization's goals. Develop a fundraising plan. Outline, outline how you will raise funds to support your nonprofit's activities. Consider grants, events, donations, earned income, partnerships, and more. Comply with employment laws. When it is time to hire employees or engage volunteers, familiarize yourself with California's employment laws and regulations. This is very important. If you are not sure, secure help from an experienced nonprofit bookkeeper or accountant. Promote your nonprofit. Spread the word about your nonprofit's work through various channels, including social media, local events, and partnerships. Create your website and your social media presence. Stay compliant. Regularly review and update your nonprofit's operations to ensure compliance with federal and state regulations. Your board should be able to help you in this area. Submit annual reports. File the necessary annual reports with both the California Secretary of State and the IRS to maintain your nonprofit's legal status. And that concludes our training on setting up a nonprofit organization. Thank you for joining us. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel and like our videos. Thank you and we will see you in the next video.